Hi guys, this is Ida. I have a quick project share uh, to share with you guys. I uh, joined Tamika Swap with the little teeny tiny embellishment box is what I'm going to call it because it's so tiny. <laughs> and let me tell you, um, I didn't know what I was going to do with it because... I see that what everybody else does, the lace and the ribbon and all that, and, and they're nice. And they're probably more practical than what I did because those you could probably stack up one on top of the other. Um, what I decided to do with mine, you cannot stack it on, you know, stack something on top of it. So theirs is probably more practical than mine. Um, but if you only have one, then it's okay. We're good. We don't have a problem. Anyway, this is what I did with my box, I, uh, and welcome to my garden, because when I look at it, I think of a garden. If a woman had a garden, imagine this was our um, mulch, instead of that red mulch or different colored mulches. Wouldn't this be nice as mulch, guys? That would be so girly. And then I put this little sign here, this little metal, uh, it's called the book plate, and it's by Tim Holtz, and inside I, I stamped... Um, create from the heart and I put glossy accents over it to give it that dimension and uh, kind of to protect it as well so it wouldn't get ruined and I added some little blings to the little metal plate and I what I did first is I painted it with gesso with a white gesso and then I went over it with the Prima I bought the new paints by Prima I'll show you what they look like these right here and there's a pink one, an opal one. Opal Magic is what it's called. And uh, then it comes in three different colors. I mean, it comes with several colors. I bought the one that had the pink and the, the, I don't know if it's turquoise or a light blue in there and the green. That's the one I got. And I used the blue and the pink on, on it. And it's very light, but it's like a kind of an iridescent uh, looking paint. So after I had gessoed the plate and with the white gesso I went ahead and paint painted over it in pink because it was kind of getting lost in my background and so I wanted to bring a little color into it what I did first is I painted the whole box in gesso except for the bottom and I'm going to tell you why I didn't paint the bottom but I'll show you in a minute um, I went ahead and gessoed the whole box and then I decided that I wanted to do some kind of crackling on the lid so the it's got like a trim around it that's raised and the the center is like um, recessed into the box so that little panel after I had gessoed it in white and it had dried I painted it with a dark gray and after that dried I put in the crackle medium and after that had dried it's a process guys I, I painted it with some um, like an antique white, I love, I guess that's my go-to paint, the antique white. And I used the antique white so it would crackle. See how nicely it crackled? And I asked to be in the shabby group, and I've checked, and I haven't seen her post uh, the groups yet. I hope I'm in the shabby because I already started. If not, let me know, Miss Tamika, so I can stop here. Anyway, um, I added one of these keys also in a little cherub and all I did to the little cherub in that same pink paint that I used on here I painted his wings in pink and I painted the key also in with white gesso and then with the pink and the the edge that was raised around the the box what I did there is I painted it in like a chalk paint and it's a pink I think it's called ballerina slippers or something like that so I painted it in the pink and I had this glitter that I've had for a long time. I've had it for years. And it's kind of like a chunky glitter. And it's got some iridescent in there and pink. So all I did was with my finger, I used the Beacon 3-in-1 um, glue. And I kind of rubbed it in little sections. And I would sprinkle the glitter. And then until I got all the way around the frame. After I did that, what I went, I went over it with, what I did was I went over it with Mod Podge. So when you rub on this, the glitter's not going to come off in your hands. It is, it's there to stay. So I didn't want for you, when you handle your box to get glitter all over your hands or all over your work surface. So I, I did go over it and seal it with the Mod Podge. And um, 
and I had bought, uh, I did a haul and I showed the uh, Prism Craft Confetti, which is this one. And I told you guys that uh, Prima had their new flowers had that stuff on there. Well, this flower is one of those uh, flowers that you get at the $2 bin at Michael's. And all I did was add a little bit of glue here and there, and I sprinkled the the confetti on there and look at how beautiful it looks it's not prima but it's beautiful and um and i had actually made another flower and i'll show it to you because i know there was a couple of people wanting to see what the flowers would end up like here's another one i did and this one i made myself with my ariana bloom um heartfelt creation uh stamp and die set and i did the same thing all i did was add uh little bit of glue after I had put it together and sprinkled the the confetti on top and look at how beautiful that is now I'm not going to use this on my box because the turquoise that I'm using is a little bit lighter and that's a bit too dark for me so I decided not to use it but I'll put it on the box so you can see how it's just a tad darker and I and I really don't like it so I'm not going to use it I mean I like it but not for this box so I decided not to go with that and uh, but that's what I did. All I did was add the glue, the glue, and add the confetti. And these are little. Um, I always, you can tell I've been working on stuff. I always um, pick up those little picks, especially in the spring around Easter time. They bring out all these little really pretty picks, and it's not a full blown uh, flower bush, but it's smaller than just a little pick. So I would say a medium in between size. And I'll pick them up with berries on them. I'll pick them up with this stuff on there and just little different types you know that are in the light colors so again I you've seen me use this before in the swap that I'm working on for uh, Caroline who is tea time and dolls here so I'm still working on our swap Caroline I'm still working and I'm waiting for stuff so um, anyway guys I kind of lost my train of thought but on that note you guys need to check out Carolyn she is an amazing crafter you guys she really is and not just because i'm doing a swap with her but because she's really talented she made the most amazing things for this swap i mean she spanked me let me tell you she just schooled me on crafting let me tell you <laughs> she's good and um i absolutely love what she created and i can't wait to see the end result but you guys should check her out anyway let's get back to this uh box so that's all I did. I put in those little flower picks here. And this is one of the little foam flowers that I made. Um, and the bigger flower, I like it better. And the small one, it just kind of made it look dingy a little bit. And I didn't like it. And I wasn't going to use them. But when I used them here as a filler, they didn't look so bad. So I went ahead and used them as a filler. I was making them to go into this little box. But I didn't like the way that um, they ended up. Not as far as, you know... An embellishment in your box on the on the top of your box yes but not on the inside so that's all I did here guys and then I added a um, this turquoise rib satin ribbon bow and I kind of tacked it down here and there so the ribbon wouldn't be in the way when you open your box and um, like I said this is not very practical if you're gonna stack them up one on top of the other but it is pretty it's very nice and I know Tamika wanted us to keep like the profile low so we you know she could stuff it into the envelope but this isn't very high and you can smash this down and it'll be fine it'll pop right back up and I'm, I'm sure the highest thing or the tallest the most bulkiest thing on here is one of these flowers uh, from Michaels from that two dollar bin and and it's not too bad and if you smash it down it'll be okay because it's kind of like a rough looking flower anyway kind of shabby so but by adding just these the iridescent confetti on there it it's beautiful it really is it like it made that flower i think these flowers are really pretty i really like them and every time i go i pick some up but by adding this uh, confetti to it it just brought it up a notch um this is not completely dry because I just did it this morning, so I really don't want to touch it. But it does have glossy accents in there. And I had sprinkled a little bit of this glitter that I did on the edges in there. And very little, but I ended up thinking that maybe it would look better without it. So the next ones that I make, I'm not going to do that. 
But when I look at this box, I think of a garden. And I imagine this being like the mulch in the garden. So in this box, I included some of these stones that I use here in case the recipient wants to try it without committing to a full bag. So I put in both colors, which is like a blush or a pink and like the turquoise color. So I added those and I added some little uh, pink, uh, I mean, uh, turquoise pearls to the little metal piece here in the key. It didn't have anything, so I added that, that to it. Like it's not, I didn't do a lot to the box, but what little I did do, it really made a difference. Now, and I painted it all around after I had just sewed it in white. I went ahead with the pink and I painted the whole thing except the bottom. And I'm going to show you why I didn't paint the bottom. The The idea of these boxes, I guess, it, that they're clear that you can see what's in them. But because of what I did on top, you can't see from the top what's in them. But if you flip it to the bottom, you can see some of the things that are in there or probably everything that it's not full yet you know I still got some empty slots and and nothing's really complete I'm just kind of working a little bit here and there because I am working like I said on another swap with Caroline and I want to finish that one up first before I get into anything else but I just wanted to do like my um, I didn't want to wait till the last minute then be stuck not knowing what to do and I didn't cut off this tab because I don't know if I'm going to use it or if I'm not going to use it. I don't know if I may make a little short tassel to hang on here or their names, the recipients' names. I don't know what I'm going to do, so I haven't cut it off. I painted it and left it as is. But I'm going to open this, and I'm going to show you. I'll open it in a minute. I want to show you. I was working on some. We had to do three handmade embellishments. Well, I tried several times. So I made one of these uh, foam flowers that I was talking to you guys about earlier on one of my other videos that is made with a foam it's called foam foamy ran foamy ran it's f o a m i r a n or o n I'm not sure I think it's a n anyway I made this one and I thought well maybe I can put it sideways in the little uh one of those little um sections compartments in the box it didn't fit but look at how beautiful it is guys this is a beautiful rose. So that didn't fit. So I said, okay, let me try and scale it down a little bit. So this was my second one. And it's a little bit smaller, but not that much. That didn't work. So I said, okay, let me try one more time. Because these are, every petal is put on here individually. Every single petal. So it is work. And that's why the tips of my fingers are pink or a dark pink because I've been working on these so I said let me do this one and I did this one and there's the back to it it's they're really pretty like if you could see them in 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 person you know that you could actually see the the item I don't I don't know if the video does it any justice but these roses are absolutely beautiful so when I put it in the box, it kind of smashes it down like this. And I don't know if you'll be able, like if you could heat it up and you knew how to work with this, you could probably, you know, touch it up some. But if you're not familiar with it, I don't know what it's going to do in the box. So I decided that I wasn't going to include these in the box, but they are beautiful. Uh, I don't know if I'll change my mind and try again, give it another try and make it, maybe scale it down a little bit more. But so far, it's been a lot of work, and I haven't been able to achieve that. So, Miss Tamika, these are going to be yours. I'm still going to make you a closed rosebud that's completely closed. But these are going to be for you, and they are all handmade. Each petal is on there individually. So, hopefully, you'll use them on a special project. And I'm going to actually put them in this little box when I ship them because I don't want them to get crushed. Um... That way you don't have to worry about fluffing them back up or or trying to heat them up and work with them. So I'm I'm gonna put them in this little box and they're gonna but they're not soap or anything. They're actually for your paper crafting or your crafting. Um and they're not soaps or anything, but the these are absolutely beautiful. So that these this is what I was working on, trying to make little things that were beautiful to go in the box that you could use, but I wasn't completely able to uh, achieve that you know in a rose because well I did but it's the smaller it is the harder it is to do 
So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open the box. And the box, the ribbon, I tacked it down so it wouldn't be in your way when you open the box. So it's not in your way. You can actually just, you know, put your finger down there and open it. It's not going to be like your ribbon's not going to fall off or anything. And the reason the ribbon's here at the end is because I was going to put it under the rose and kind of forgot. And I did add some of that uh, um, turquoise eyelash trim here so it's sticking out of the box nice wispy like this it's really pretty guys i hope whoever gets these will like them uh, but this is my take on the embellishment box so when you open the open it like i said for me the car the compartments are really small but it's a challenge and you know i'm always up for a challenge so here are the little stones that i was telling you about and they have like a glitter in them and these are in the floral department at Hobby Lobby. But I don't want whoever gets it to or sees this video and is the recipient of one of these boxes to have to commit to a whole bag. And it, it does come in different colors. And so that can get expensive. So I give them a little bit so in both colors so they can try it. Now, I the things that I embellish, I want to put them in the first three trays because we have to do three handmade embellishments if I do more than that of course and I'll have to take up other compartments as far as my homemade embellishments go but I know the first three at least are going to have uh, my homemade uh, embellishments so here are some of the other flowers that I made again with the foam they're very soft they're they're very dewy almost like a real flower and these are small enough that they're not going to get smashed in the box. So I added a few of these. Now here's the flower in a teeny, teeny, tiny, a teeny, tiny version of it. But because it's so tiny, it's hard to work with, guys. So with my big fingers, you know, I don't know if I'm up to that challenge right now. And um, then I did another one that was a little bit smaller, just the bud which is right here, and I didn't put the leaf on it. Let me pick it up so you can see. See how pretty that is? And it, it is a little bit bigger, I mean smaller than the the other one. And then I just added one of the leaves that um, I cut out of the foam and so they can add it to their projects. But I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make any more of these. I'm going to try. I'm going to try, but like I said, I am working on my other shop right now, and these are a little time-consuming, but I will definitely at least try to give them one rose, because I love roses, and they are going to get these other ones right here. This uh, little heart, I showed it in my haul. I don't know if I'm just going to include it raw as it is, or if I'm going to embellish that. I might embellish it, that's why I have it in this compartment, but I'm not sure yet, and um and I am I have this little spool in here that I cut out with one of my dies. And this is gonna have some ribbon or the eyelash trim. And I actually want to include the eyelash trim in both the colors. And when you look at this box, when you look at this box, you're going to know what's in this box because I use the colors on uh, to decorate the box of the things that are going to be in the box. So the embellishments that are going to be in the box will more like most likely match with the colors of the outside of the box. And even if they didn't uh, realize that, when you flip it around, you can see what's in there. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you for watching. Everyone have a great day and God bless. Bye.